What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today we're going to be going over the best way to build a no money spend team in Madden 22 guys. Now this is an important video that I do make every year because I always get this question. No money spent teams are like the essence of gaming these days because gaming started as just it was gaming was always no money spent right back in the day like the most you spent was like 20 bucks on a modern warfare 2 map pack and maybe not even because they were kind of garbage like you kind of just stuck to the regular you kind of stuck to the regular stuff it what it is what it was right only one friend with the extra money would pay for it so you really didn't need it nowadays if you're not spending money you're behind right so there was a few years worth of madden guys where it was straight money 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 if you didn't have money you couldn't play this mode competitively luckily in the last few years madden has Madden has understand, understood that money is important, and I mean, they think it's, it's the all, end all be all, but they have understood that to get the casual players and to get the majority of players in here, like just to come in, they got to have them playing on a fair, on a fair level. And that is why they've implemented a lot of ways to get free players, easier coins and easier packs without spending money. So that's why no money spent is important now. A lot of people religiously play no money spent. Honestly, guys, I'm about as close to a ma no money spent YouTuber as you can get. Like I spend money, but like I really only spend money the first week. And then maybe a Christmas or a Super Bowl MVP bundle. But I really don't buy packs like that. Could that change this year? Possibly. Could that not change? Possibly. It really just depends. But I do know one thing for sure. No money spent's important. So let's get into this, guys. Before we do, though, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And, of course, guys, every like does help. So make sure you guys are smashing that like button. It helps the channel out a lot. And shout out to today's Poodle Squad member, your boy Q Dog. If you want to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad shout out, all you gotta do is like the video and comment down below some Poodle Squad preferably, so I know. That's about it. Make sure you guys like. Let's get into the video, guys. So, first things first, when you first open Madden, right, and you want to build your no money spent team the first week of the game in general, but prim primarily, guys, first tip, do not buy a team. I cannot stress this enough. Do not buy a team. Do not buy a team. I will wreck if you're gonna spend coins, it has to be investments the first week at, at least. Because, like, guys, there's really no reason to have a team yet. Like, weekend league, maybe. But you can compete on seasons with the free players you're gonna get. And I'll get into that. But do not buy players the first week. The market's very sporadic and volatile the first week. Like uh, an 85 overall could be 100k the first week of EA access. But then like in a week when the when Superstar MVP drops, a lot of those guys come down to like 60 or 70k. Even if it's only a 30k difference, guys, 30k in the beginning of the year is a lot of coins. Later in the year it won't be. Later in the year, you know, two million coins is a lot of coins. Right now, 30k to 100k is a lot of coins. So be very careful. You guys want to follow my advice? My, my best advice, guys, the first week is to stack up every resource from this game you can get, whether it be free packs, free cards, free coins, power pass, free players. Stack up everything. Do not spend a cent. I'm not into this. What I'd recommend, guys, the first thing you want to do when you open up Ultimate Team is check out the missions tracker. That typically, like objective esque, will tell you a lot of things. Like, so it'll say the campaign you can go and you can see all your rewards you can get. Go to missions tracker take a look at the rewards there first and foremost go to unopen packs open your free packs now here here's what i recommend guys do not do not select your free elites until you make a list now, i recommend getting a notepad get a notepad out do not pick your free elites like your free 82s your free 83s your pre-order bonus until you know all the elites you can get right so remember you can get wes welker rodney harrison or randy moss and deon sanders right remember that you know your rookie premieres you're gonna take right so i will get a notepad out guys and write down like maybe do like a whole list of a team right quarterback running back watch you do it all and write down every spot you have for the free player because no money spent players you can't afford to double up in a position right you can't afford to get randy then take lance allworth then get a nat deandre out of a pack and then end up um getting taking your free basically wide receiver you can't you can't risk all your assets in one spot no money spent players have to be super focused on um, spreading their team out because they're not going to be spending packs right so like i said write a list down right okay i'm taking randy and dion that's it one wide receiver one cornerback taken um i'm going to be getting the Dion and jc jackson so that means two cornerbacks right so maybe you don't want to go ahead and take a free cornerback elite maybe you want to save it now right maybe for a premier you're going to take jc horn maybe it's not worth it now because you already have two nat corners so if you take jc uh jc horn and you have jc jackson and you have dion now you get you get any nat cornerback pull or anything that's it they can't play unless you get like a you know jalen ramsey or Jair, they really just can't play. So I wouldn't do that. Now, if you're going to, I would recommend maybe don't take JC Horn now, maybe take Kyle Pitts instead. Also, know that you're getting a free camp chancellor, which means do not take any safeties. Do not take any base lead safeties. No, no, no free safeties. Don't go buy a safety. Now, point is, I'm going to speed up through this. Once you get through that aspect of it and you know all your free players you will be getting, go ahead, 
And after that week, you can start buying players. Okay, so you know there's no more free wide receivers. You know there's no more free quarterbacks or halfbacks or tight ends or linemen. Now you can go ahead and buy some players and then go take your base leads, your 82s. Okay, so I didn't end up getting any defensive tackles. I didn't get a linebacker. I didn't get a free safety. Take your base leads. Take your free players. Go select them from your veterans pack. But I'd wait until you at least just go around and know everything you're going to get first. Uh, moving on, take advantage of strategy cards. No money spent teams understand this better than most. You're not going to be the guys who can get that day one player, right? On that Christmas morning when Randy Moss drops, you can't afford him for a million coins or 500k or 600k. You got to wait till he's 300k because no money spent players make the smart decisions, right? Um, you cannot go get the brand new LTE that drops on a Thursday. You got to wait till the week or two after when he has a training a training pass or, or until the series redux comes out, right? So definitely wait for all that. But why is this important? Take advantage of strategy cards. You may not need Randy Moss if you can get... A wide receiver that's very similar in height and speed and all you gotta do is put a strategy card to him to get his stats up to what randy moss is right understand that no money spent guys don't go for brand name they go for performance right you gotta understand so there could be a wide receiver randy moss out but superstar vp terry mclaurin with a with the, with, the, with the card has the same thresholds as him and same speed or even faster so why go ahead and get the brand name guy right you gotta you gotta be careful with that do not overpay you want to always be getting a value at all times because every little coin you lose you're not getting that back right people can waste coins because they're gonna buy packs that week so they can waste you know like let's say me zerk right we can go and we can go and spend a million coins on training that week and blow it away because if we do a pack opening that weekend what happens that's it. You get it right back. So there's no there's no loss. But a no money spent guy loses 100k worth of reduction, spends a bunch on training, and the next week the market crashes. That's it. You lost all your hard earned stuff from solos. Now you got to wait till a new season to get all these new solos in game to get more uh, coins, right? Another thing, make sure you are using your free players. I cannot stress that. Some people are like, I've had friends who will order the Patrick Mahomes edition, right? To get Patrick Mahomes, they will get that and the base leads. And the day one of the game, they buy the 89 overall Legend Marino. Or 86 overall Lamar Jackson. I'm like, bro, you're downgrading. They'll get 86 Lamar Jackson powered up and make a Ravens team turn up through. I'm like, no, no. You're in a money spent team. You're using Mahomes or Brady. Please use Mahomes or Brady at least for at least for some time. Take advantage. Because as long as you rock with him, you'll have a top tier competitive quarterback. Like you can't verse any you you would verse the most money spent team in the game and still have a quarterback even. Uh, even quarterback game, right? That's important. Uh, as well, guys, remember halftime adjustments. No money spent teams probably won't be able to utilize this as much as a money spent team because it's going to be very tough, guys, because abilities cost money, right? Training is expensive as hell in the beginning. So understand that you may be missing out on this early in the year because it's going to be super hard to have an entire secondary because the point of this is money spent teams will be able to put abilities on almost every player on their team and then during halftime adjust to what they need. A no money spent team isn't going to have enough and that's going to be expensive as hell too because think about it. What if you do that to your whole team and then that week you replace your end, your outside linebacker, and your cornerback? Now you got to do it again. The beauty of that is that at least maybe you only want to do it on players you have not or players you know you're going to have as your as your secondary guys. No money spent teams will not be able to take advantage of this. And that's just my opinion. Um, next, you want to be doing your daily objectives each and every day. It leads to coin quick sells. It leads to power passes and it leads to rewards. Power passes are a no money spent team's best friend because instead of spending 400k on a 90 overall player, you can just use the power pass and save 400k and then go buy another 90 overall player. That's a double up right there. So make sure you're doing that because again, if you miss any days that will hurt you later in the year or just for your first group of rewards, weekly objectives, make sure you're doing those. You can get a gridiron pack almost every week for free, which no money spent player loves free packs as well as guys legend packs at some point could be in there as well. So make sure you are doing that ultimate season rewards. You definitely want to be doing this is going to be how you go ahead and get your free 91 over ultimate season uh, hero. And guys, you want this because. This ultimate season hero, like I said in my last video, is going to be one of the top players in the game probably each and every season, unless they, they nerf his stats and they make him really bad. But not even overall player. So let's say ultimate season lasts two months, right? So October, oh no, not even. Yeah, like late September, early October will be when we get the next ultimate challenge or ultimate season, right? So we're getting a 91 overall player. Let's say you get him in the first few weeks. That will mean that you can go ahead and have a 91 overall player or probably the highest overall player for the month of August, probably, or at least tied for it. Probably the highest overall player for the month of August, though. So that's going to be one thing right there, right? You get a 91 overall player off the rip. Um, You can rock with him till October, and he'll probably still be either a 9. The probably highest overall in the game could be a 92 by then, maybe 93. And then there'll be another ultimate season. So you get a 94 overall player, or 93, right? It's going to keep going. So make sure you are getting these done. There's going to be like a top tier, like here. This is going to be one of your top players every season you can get done. Also, by doing these, you get 500 XP, 150 coins, 500 XP, 150 coins. You're going to be able to get more and more rewards as you go. I imagine there'll be some packs along the way, some XP and some other stuff, level up rewards, uh, power passes. Another way you get power passes is by doing your ultimate season. So you, I cannot stress enough. If you're a no money spent guy, grind this out right away. 
Because you need an edge as a no money spent player. And the only way you're going to get an edge is by getting a 91 overall player before everyone else. So I would grind this like day one for no money spent, guys. Definitely go, like not day one of this game, day one of every ultimate season. Uh, as you guys see here, look. 15,000 XP, 500 coins, 15,000, uh, 5,000 XP, 5,000 XP. And these are all easy for no money spent, guys. Force 30 fumbles. You can do this on a solo battle. You can do this in a headset season. You can do this on a mutt champs. You could probably do it in solo challenges as well. The, a few of them, like, won't be that way, but, like, ultimate challenges right here. 175 stars. Just play solos. Win 100 games. Solos count, too. You'll probably have that done, like, literally in the first few days of this game just by playing, you know, quick journey solos and golem solos and stuff like that. You know, like, the, the quick solos is what I meant to say. EA Play. Make sure you play your EA Play challenges. That's how you get the Cover Athlete fa uh, Power Fantasy Pack, the Play Art. You also get the Elite 80 Overall Wide Receiver Pack, 80 Overall Plus, and 1,500 coins. Make sure you play your Gridiron Tower right off the rip as well. You guys, the 80s, you get 87 Overall JC Jackson and his Power Up. That's going to be a fast, like, 88 speed cornerback off the rip, which you're going to need because it's going to be guys like Jamar Chase and stuff. Moving on, Team Captains, guys. You, you have to utilize Team Captains this year. For starters, they're going to be an 89 overall off like day one, guys. It costs like 20 training to get them up to get them up to 89 overall. You're going to have them like almost like as soon as the game drops, I'd recommend getting your team captain. Go do the sound, the whatever challenge you need to do to get them. Go get them and make sure you upgrade them right away. Here's what's important. Each ability on a team captain only costs five training and their X factors cost 10. So for a no money spent guy, you probably won't be able to afford abilities the first week, you know, unless you want to spend a lot of coins. Uh, so you're probably rocking with base teams all week, but your captain get empowered, get Lance Allworth all the way up or Jack Youngblood. Put power, you know, edge threat on them. Put whatever you want to put on them as soon as they can get it. That's it. It'll cost you 20. It'll be, it'll be like a free player with abilities. No many spend teams got to abuse their team captains this year and take advantage of them as long as they are good. And like I said, Youngblood and Allworth are looking pretty good. Uh, next, guys. Avoid the core rookie exchanges. Avoid the rookie champions. That's the thing that no money spent guys make a mistake on. They see a guy like Devonta Smith and like, I have to have him. I have to have him. This set is going to be expensive. It's going to be, and if you don't open packs, you will not be able to just get these guys. You're going to have to buy them one by one by one by one. 30, 25, that's going to be a total of, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, right? 75 old players. If they all went for only 1K, which they won't, it'll be 75 grand. If they all average out to 2K, it'll be 150 grand. If they all average out to like 3 to 5K, which is probably more likely, you're looking at like 300 plus K. I would not touch this. Now, could you buy them off the auction block? Maybe, but as an 87 overall player... With an 88 speed worth 300 plus K, probably not. Take Lance Allworth, he'll be just as good. Devonta Smith looks like a monster, but again, guys, he'll be out. He'll be outdated quickly. Got the Terry McLaurin superstar. Ultimate champion. This is gonna be the Cam Chancellor stuff, guys. Make sure you are. I cannot stress this. Make sure you're grinding this again. If you can get him and your uh, ultimate seasons player, that'll be two 90 plus overall cards early in the year. And again, they're gonna be on your team all year. Uh, Cam Chancellor, that 92 speed. You can get him up to a 92 speed, 93 hit power, 92 zone, 87 man. Put the man to man elite card on, uh, strategy card on them. And this card's gonna be a beast. Six foot three, good block shed as well. I'd imagine. I'm pretty sure I saw it somewhere. Next, take advantage of superstar MVP cards early in the game. Why is that? They come pre-built with abilities and X factors. And why is that important? Abilities cost over a thousand training per, and X factors cost like 800 to 1500, right? So just so you guys know, week one of the game, if you wanted to get a running back like Christian McCaffrey and power him up alone, just power him up with training, you're looking at probably 50 to 100K just to power him up, right? Just with training all the way up. Let's say 50k to power him up. So you're looking at McCaffrey for 100k probably, give or take, uh, or maybe 80k. Let's say plus 50k. That's 130k plus abilities on him for another three grand worth of abilities and X factors. You're look 3k worth of training. You're looking at probably a 250 thousand dollar, probably 250 thousand coin card at least. 250 300k uh, just from McCaffrey powered up. And then guess what? A new running back comes out like Saquon. Or anyone else that's that's better or close and you want to get him. Now you gotta power him down and loose training and reductions and everything else. Instead, Saquon Barkley will probably only cost 150k, maybe 200 k Maybe 250, give or take, right? But he may cost 250, 150, 300 k whatever. Let's just say I'm going with like 180. If he's 180, guys, you could pick this card up. He will be the fastest running back in the game, or at least tied for it, just about, with one of the best break, best stats in the game. And he will probably come with evasive or jukebox on him or backfield mismatch or any of those things. He'll come with abilities on him. You can use them, and then as soon as you're done with him, you just have to list them on the block. Sell them. No, don't have, to, don't have to power him down. No, you have to do anything. He'll be a ready-to-go card right off the bat. Highly recommend you use him. Uh, your Legend Fantasy Packs, again, your Wes Welkers, your Randy Moss. I, I, I already went over all that. Um, rookie rookie Premieres, guys, also, if you have Rookie Premier tokens, plan out who you plan to take in that immediately. Because, again, if you're going to take Jamar Chase, and you're going to take Kyle Pitts, and you're going to take JC Horn, remember, you get Deion Sanders and JC Jackson. So I wouldn't take JC Horn in that case, right? Give or take. Um, Jamar Chase, you're going to take him, and you're also going to take Lance Allworth. Know that your two wide receivers, your main two and doubles and all that stuff is already covered. So, there goes that. So then you have no wide receiver space or cornerback space. If you pull a Nat, like last year I pulled the D-Hop Nat, I couldn't use him. 
I tried to use them, but I really couldn't. So just take, make sure you pick out your rookie premieres nice and early. Another thing for no money spent teams, take advantage of the budget players. Early in the year, guys, you pull Jalen Waddle out of one of the starter packs or you get him off the block for like 6K, know that you could probably start him in solos. You don't need you don't need beasts to do solos. You just need speed. Get a Jalen Waddle with an 88 speed and just send him deep in solos. You could probably finish a bunch of solo challenges like that and you won't have to spend a lot of coins. Hey guys, that's about it for this video. If you guys have any questions about no money spent team, I feel for, I feel free to DM me on Twitter, guys. My Twitter link will be down below in the description. Follow me over on there so you guys can get access to my DM box. DM me over there. I will give you guys help or comment it down below, preferably on the YouTube video here where I can get to you. And yeah, want to be shouted on the Poodle Squad. You guys know the deal. Make sure to subscribe, turn that noti bell. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.